Hello, welcome back. In this video, we are going to look at uh, some of the solutions for the uh, homework problems involving lines uh, in three-dimensional space. So let's look at the first problems. So this question here asks you to find the vector equations for a line that passes through this particular point and parallel to these vectors. So they already give you all the necessary information to construct the line equations in vector form. So recall, in order to construct this line equation in vector form, we need a point that is on the line, which is given right here, and a direction of vectors, which is parallel uh, to these vectors. So even though we don't have negative 6, 10, 8, but if you look at this particular vector here, this vector is really twice uh, in terms of magnitudes to these vectors. Uh, in particular, they are actually in the same directions, right? So because of that, we can actually just use this as your directional vectors. If you look at the solutions, uh, the answer choice here, you will see that um, none of this is actually correct except this one. So just bear in mind that uh, in order to construct the line equations, what you need is a point that is on the line right here and any vectors that is parallel to the directional vectors. So the correct answer for these questions will be A. All right, let's look at uh, another problem, which is this one, the second problem. So this is not so direct in the sense that uh, they don't, you don't really know um, the directional vectors. So in this question, you are asked to find a vector equations, again, uh, for the line that passes through this particular point and this point. So in order to construct the line equations, what you need to have is a point that is on the line. So you have two choices here. Uh, so you can pick any one that you like. Uh, however, in this particular problem here, the directional vector is not given. But since you are given these two points, we can find the directional vectors pretty easily by uh, taking these vectors, subtract these vectors, or the other way around, it doesn't really matter. So for this one, uh, if you take this uh, subtraction of this particular point here to this, you will get this as your directional vectors. So um, once you have the directional vectors, you, you can pick any of the point here, but because uh, we are doing multiple choice questions, and the closest one that will match uh, uh, the solutions is going to be this. So we are picking this as the point that is on the line, and the directional vectors is given here. You can also see that actually none of these um, solutions, the answer choice here, the answer choice A, B, and C all have the wrong directional vectors. So the obvious answers will be D. All right, so uh, let's go to the third problem. So in these questions, they are asked to find um, the line equations, again, in vector form, right? The line equations that passes through the points 2, 1, 0, and perpendicular to both of these vectors. So now, things are getting more and more complicated. Um, the first two questions are kind of straightforward because the first question, especially, the directional vectors is kind of already given. The second question, you have to find the direction vectors, but it's still not so bad. And this one right here is the same principle. You already have a point that is on the line and you need a directional vectors. The question is, how do you find the directional vectors? So you are given that the directional vectors is going to be perpendicular to these two vectors. So in general, if you have two vectors, let's say you have vectors uh, v and you have vectors u, so uh, the perpendicular vectors, the vectors that is perpendicular to both of v and u can be obtained by taking the cross product, by taking the cross product, by taking the cross product of these vectors u and these vectors v. So we are going to take these vectors as u, and these vectors as v. So once you perform the cross products, you will get the uh, vectors, which is perpendicular to both. And that will serve as your directional vectors for this particular line equations. So recall that the cross products is uh, computed uh, by doing these computations, i, j, and k. So you put 1, 1, 0, and 0, 1, 1. You compute a determinant. So you have i minus so many of j and then minus so many of k. And then uh, to get this particular entries here, you have to cross away this, cross away this, and compute a determinant this for this sub matrix. So you will see this is 1 uh, because it's 1 times 1 and then this times 0. And for this right here, you do the same thing, but instead of crossing out the um, 
instead of crossing out the I, you will cross out uh, right here. Let me put this thing down. So you will cross out this and this, and then you compute it. You will see again, you have a one, but there's a negative in front of it. So you have this. Uh, so repeat this process, you will get the uh, directional vectors to be one, negative one, and one. So look at all the answers here. The only answers that have the correct uh, directional vectors is actually this. And we can also double check that this is a point that passes through. Uh, this is a point that's on the line, and this is the directional vectors. So the answer choice will have to be B. All right. So things is the the, the principle are the same. You you need to find um, in order to find the equations of the line, uh, you will need to have a point that is on the line and also the directional vectors. Uh, so it's just that the directional vectors is not given uh, directly, and so you have to compute all that uh, separately depend on the questions, the type of the questions. All right, so now we are looking at symmetric equations. So you are asked to find the symmetric equations for the line of intersections of these two planes. So you have a plane, and you have another plane, and they have they both intersect at this line right here. And you are asked to find what is the equations, uh, the line equations uh, for this particular line of intersections between these two planes. All right. So the way to do this particular problem here, again, same principle, uh, we will have to find a point that's on this line. So you will have to find a point that both satisfy this equation and this equation because they are on the same plane. So in order to do that, uh, you will have to solve these two equations. But in this case, it's kind of easy to see that if you put y and z both equal to 0 and x equal to 1, this point here, 1, 0, 0, is obviously uh, on this plane because it satisfies these equations. And this point, 1, 0, 0, is also obviously on this plane because it satisfies these equations. So we can take we can take 1, 0, 0. We can take 1, 0, 0. Okay, we can take 1, 0, 0 as the point that's on the line. And the only thing left for us to do is to compute the directional vectors. So in this case, the directional vectors is computed by taking the cross product of the normal vectors for this plane. So this is the normal vectors for the first plane. Let's call this n1. This is the normal vectors, normal vectors in the sense of this. And this is the normal vectors for this uh, 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 second plane right here, and if you take the cross products of these two vectors, you will get a vector that's perpendicular to n1 and n2. And that perpendicular vector, as you can see, uh, is going to be parallel uh, to, well, basically give you the directional vectors for the line that is on, that is, uh, on the intersections between these two planes. So this gives you the computations necessary to compute the directional vectors by taking the uh, normal vectors for these two planes. And recall that the normal vectors is for this plane is very easy to um, to extract. Um, I mean, it's very easy to extract the normal vector from these planes. Remember, it is basically consists of the coefficients of this uh, this expression here. So in front of x you have one, in front of y you have two, in front of z you have three. So this is going to be the uh, the normal vectors for this plane, uh, that's your n1, okay? So once you have the uh, directional vectors, so once you have the directional vectors, you will be able to compute the uh, line equations. And uh, the easiest way is to still uh, give your answers in the vector form. So you will have 1, 0, 0, and then plus, and then t, and then you have the directional vectors 5, 2, and negative 3. And then so you will be able to extract uh, x. Com the x component will consist of 1 plus 5t. y component will be 2t. z component will be minus 3t. And set t equals to, for example, if you look at this, set t equals to x minus 1 over 5. Set this t equals to, uh, set this t equals to y over 2. And, and set this t equals to, uh, z over negative 3 and equate all the t, you will get this symmetric equations. All right, so this is how you uh, compute the symmetric equations for the line intersections for these two planes. All right, moving on. Uh, the next questions we want to discuss is questions number 6. So questions number 6 right here asks you to find 
the symmetric equations for the line uh, that passes through this point and parallel uh, to this line. So in order to do this, again, we already have a point that's on the line. The only thing we need to do is to find the directional vectors. So recall that if your symmetric equation is given like this, uh, the directional vectors is going to be nothing but 2, 3, and 1. So that is how you find the directional vectors. So using this and this, uh, you can find the equation of the line in vector form. So it will be negative 6, 2, 3, and then plus t times 2, 3, 1. And then again, do the same process as the one we discussed in the previous problem. You will be able to find the symmetric equations. The, the symmetric equation is this. So this particular homework uh, utilizes the fact that um, if you have a symmetric equation like this uh, for a line, we know that the directional vectors is nothing but all this coefficient here. All right. So I will refer you to the lecture notes, uh, the lecture videos, to figure out why this is true. Okay. So one last problem. So we are going to look at problems number nine. Okay, for example, this one right here. This one, they give you the equations, um, the equations for uh, two different lines, L1 and L2, in parametric form. And the question asks whether or not these two lines are parallel, skew, or intersecting. So uh, again, once you have an equation of a line in parametric form, the directional vectors is very easy to see. Uh, first line will have directional vectors negative 12, 9 and negative 3, and the second directional vectors will be this. It's negative 6 and 2, and you can see they are multiple of each other exactly like this, so you can tell that this two lines are actually parallel. Uh, when they are not parallel, say for example, this equation is right here, so now they give you the symmetric equations. Again, you can find the directional vectors just by looking at this uh, uh, coefficient. So you will have the first directional vectors is here, second directional vectors is here, and you can see they are not multiple of each other, so things are a little bit more complicated, and so uh, they are not parallel. So are they intersecting or not? Well, you will have to see whether or not the system has a solution. So one way to do it is to equate all the x, okay, equate all the y values, equate all the z value, and see whether we can find uh, a t and an s that can satisfy these two equations, these three equations simultaneously. And uh, the way you do it, the easiest way, is perhaps just to solve two set of equations and find the answers and see whether that answers uh, will be satisfied by the third equations. And in this case, the answer is yes. t equal to 2 and s equal to 1 will satisfy all these uh, equations. Actually, all these equations right here. Therefore, we also not only know that they are intersecting, we also know exactly where they, the intersecting point is. All right, so these are some of the solutions for the uh, problems involving lines in three-dimensional space. Thank you.